Okay, what's happening YouTube? What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about three myths about the print-on-demand business. Uh, print-on-demand, for anybody who doesn't know, print-on-demand is a hot new kind of area of business. Uh, it's essentially drop shipping, but it, it's nothing like AliExpress drop shipping. It's much, much better. Uh, print on demand is about as passive of an income as you can create. I generally don't like the term passive income. I prefer the term leverage income because I feel like almost nothing is truly passive. Almost nothing takes no time or effort. Leverage income, and, and really what I think most people mean when they talk about passive income, is things that you can do where you put in effort one time up front. So there is going to be work. There is going to be effort. Uh, but you're not trading time for money. You don't have to actively be working all the time. And that's one of the things I love about print on demand. So print on demand is sites like Merch by Amazon or Amazon Merch as some people call it, Redbubble, Teespring, uh, Printful, Printify. There's dozens of others, Spreadshirt, T-Chip, um, Society6, uh, Designs by Humans. What, what these sites are, they allow you to upload T-shirt designs. And before you say, oh, well, I'm not a T-shirt designer, uh, you don't have to be a t-shirt designer. It allows you to upload simple text-based designs, like something like uh, something really stupid, build the wall, right? Like right now, Donald Trump's in the news. There's a government shutdown. There's a lot of controversy over the wall. If you made a shirt that said build the wall, people who support Trump and people who support a stronger immigration policy are going to buy that shirt. If you wanted to play the other side of the field, you could put don't build the wall on a t-shirt. And this could be in just basic text, and I guarantee you it would sell uh, things like lazy millennials or stupid millennial. Just two words in a basic font on a t-shirt. These things sell incredibly well. Some of the design platforms, I'll say Redbubble caters a little bit to more artistic, more creative designs. Um, Amazon Merch and Teespring are definitely more so text-based designs. Text-based designs actually sell better than more detailed stuff. But the beautiful thing about print on demand you create the designs, and you can do these in, in free programs. You don't need to be a graphic designer. Uh, Word Swag is a phone app. You can create designs right on your phone. Uh, Word Swag, um, Canva is another great free program. In order to do clear backgrounds on T-shirts, you do need the Canva professional version, which is like $11 a month. But you can make pop sockets and other items uh, with the free version of Canva. The, the reason you want to be able to do a clear background is T-shirts that have kind of like a white block on them don't look good. So you only want to have... Uh, whatever the design elements are. Uh, but Lunapic, PicMonkey, there are a ton of programs out there that can help you create free designs very, very easily. And that's essentially what Print On Demand is. You create your design, you upload it to a platform like Amazon Merch, Redbubble, Teespring, or all three plus a dozen others. Um, and from that point, you're done. When your design sells, Amazon will print that design. Uh, Amazon will print the shirt. They'll ship it out to the customer. They'll even upload. They'll even upload the tracking number for your customer as well. Now, a lot of these platforms are what we call platforms, right? So they're actually selling platforms. Like people can go shop on Redbubble, but we also have other sites that I would call fulfillment partners. Things like Printful and Printify, and these allow you to sell on platforms like eBay or as a third-party Amazon seller or even Etsy. And you can link it to your eBay store or your Etsy store so that when somebody buys something on your Etsy store, it automatically communicates that sale to, print bubble, to Printful. Printful automatically knows to create that shirt. Uh, they'll ship it to your customer. They'll charge your credit card. And then as soon as they ship it out, they're going to upload that tracking number to your eBay or your Etsy store. So this is literally, once you get everything set up, which doesn't take that long, this is completely passive. So now let's talk about a couple myths about the print-on-demand business. Uh, myth number one is you're going to be making thousands of dollars per week. Um, are there people making that much money? Absolutely. It's more the exception rather than the norm. Uh, they're kind of the exception of the rule. And most people who are doing huge numbers, they're not doing it on their own. Most of those people will have a, a, a graphic designer or a team of graphic designers working for them. A lot of times they'll use VAs or virtual assistants from places like onjob, onlinejobs.ph um, to upload their designs for them. Like to, when you really get up to the high level, um, you know, having a team and being able to scale it up definitely helps. Um, but, you know, I was making over $1,100 per month consistently month after month on Amazon Merch. Uh, Redbubble is probably my second best platform. I have numerous stores, but one of my best stores on the Redbubble platform is uh, is a store that's making about 168 I think was my last 28 days uh, worth of payments. Um, but uh, that's kind of the myth about print on demand. You're going to see a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people saying, oh, print on demand is so easy. I'm making $5,000 a week. There might be some people out there doing it more often than not. They're either lying to boost their ego or to try to sell you some course or coaching or consulting. Uh, myth number two about print on demand, you have to be a graphic designer to do it. Uh, this is absolutely false. You do not need to be a graphic designer to, uh, to, sell, uh, to sell designs, right? Like most of the best-selling stuff 
is simple text-based designs. Even, you know, one piece of text with a piece of free clip art that you find online. Uh, very, very basic stuff does sell. Uh, so that's myth number two. Uh, myth number three about print-on-demand is that you have to create a brand. You know, there are people out there who are trying to create some type of apparel brand or a line of clothing, but you don't have to create a brand. You can just crank out random shirts, a dabbing unicorn, the word millennial on a shirt, um, you know, some line about, ba you know, world's best t-ball player, world's best baseball coach, new grandpa. Uh, go for quantity over quality. Uh, quantity over quality wins all day long, in my opinion. Uh, is there a time for making quality shirts if you're trying to make a brand that you want to stand behind and really market? Okay, maybe hire a designer, or if you have design skills, maybe do something a bit more detailed. But really, this print-on-demand game, it's a numbers game, um, and quantity wins out over quality uh, any day in my book. Um, you can do this completely free. You don't need any special training. You don't need a mentor. Uh, there's plenty of great YouTube videos out there that show you everything from how to design shirts with free programs like Canva or Lunapic or PicMonkey. Um, you know, there's tons of great blogs out there, a ton of resources. Heck, Amazon themselves, if you go over to the resources tab, actually lays out a, a lot of info for you in terms of best practices, how to make designs. They provide you with templates. Um, but if you did want a little bit of help, um, I just recently learned of, of a system called the low-hanging fruit system. And I really like uh, kind of their take on this low-hanging fruit system. Essentially what they do, let me see, I think I got their web page open. Um, the low-hanging fruit system, let's look at their uh, their sales page here. The low-hanging fruit system, uh, the, the owner of Gearbubble, uh, his girlfriend created this system. Uh, she's making thousands of dollars a month selling print-on-demand t-shirt designs. Um, she kind of talks about how you know, you don't need anything fancy. Here's one month she did 14000 This is in sales, so that's not all profits, but I would guess there's a couple thousand in profit left over. Uh, 124000 in the month of December. I personally know a guy who did over 20000 on Amazon merch alone uh, in the month of December, but he's not one guy. He's got a team of three designers. I think his sister, his brother-in-law, and a friend of his are all working for him, and they're also utilizing VAs or virtual assistants. Um, you know, you can sell these things on eBay, Etsy, um, all different types of sites. It's drop shipping. You're not shelling out any money until you actually um, sell a product. And here's some of the simple designs, right? Like very basic stuff, classy, sassy, and a bit smart sassy. Again, it's, it's a quantity over quality game. Throw up stuff, see what works. And when you start seeing one niche start to sell, then go heavier on that niche. And, and here's, you know, you can put your, your uh, items on kind of mock-up items. So here's what your, what those designs would look like on a mug. And this one is actually an Amazon top seller. Um, you know, here's an example of what designs look like on a clear background. Um, and here's an example of some mock-ups of what your, what your, you know, items will look like. So, uh, I'll link to the, uh, to the low hanging fruit system. Again, you don't need this system. You can learn all this on your own. A little bit more legwork running around, checking out different videos and stuff. But, uh, there are uh, something like $3,000 worth of bonuses with this, uh, this little course. Um, you get access to Gearbubble's drop shipping, uh, software, which is normally 97 a month. Um, bunch of other perks that come with this. So uh, feel free to check that out if you're interested in kind of springboarding and getting started faster, but this can completely be learned on your own as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below and we will check you out on the next video.